Well, Jake, you know firsthand what these programs can do to help people and how people can grow through support and education in dealing with autism. What can you tell us about your own experience? Yeah, obviously my, my younger sister Emily went through a similar program in college when uh, she went out on her own and learned how to be an individual and, and take care of herself. And it's amazing when they get support and get some confidence What people who have disabilities and you know some so social issues and uh, when they get a program with the resources and people who care about them, uh, where they can, the lengths they can go to as individuals and, and just seeing where my sister's at now, it's, you, you see programs like this here in this community and it just puts a smile on your face because you know what they can do and uh, the potential with them. And so it's terrific in terms of what it can do to support the people dealing with autism and I, I guess it's important for the families as well, isn't it, to lighten the load? Yeah, absolutely. A, a lot of families don't have the resources to be hands-on 24-7 and that's sort of what's required um, so to, to have programs like this it, to take a load off like you said and it just it goes such a long way with the kids which is most important in developing them as, as people and, and having them reach their full potential so it's really great to see. What does it mean to you as a member of the Manitoba Moose to be a part of something that's helping with this important cause? Yeah it's amazing I just it's really special to me like I said and um, to see the Moose be this involved with programs um, with autism it's it's amazing it's you know you just you gotta come and take advantage like come do what I can here sledding and meeting the kids and just get involved any way I can uh, and I'm thankful for the moose for allowing me to be in a position to meet these families and uh, help out in this community.